we were in the parking lot holding uh, them up in front of the vents in our car to warm them up. Bagel and her siblings were found in shrubs by a woman walking her dog, and they were frozen solid. We were out of town when we got the call. We got there the next day and they still were cold. <laughs> we lived about 45 minutes from where they were found and they needed to be warm. We set them up in a bin and make sure they had a heating source. Bagel was the smallest of the group. When we took her in, she didn't want to eat. We thought we were going to lose her. Her weight was drastically going down. I thought I can't do, she has to live. She has to live. Ooh. He got tired. They have to be fed every four hours, so they would come everywhere with me. If I have to run errands, they had to come with me because we have to pull over into a parking lot and feed her. Every day I would try the bottle to see if it worked. And one day it did. She started latching on and drinking from the bottle. And I was so excited and I, I said, she's eating, she's eating, she's eating on her own. Now she eats wet food on her own. She makes quite a mess, but I don't care as long as she's eating. Oh my gosh, look at her face. Very cool. Look at that. You are my bagel, my little bagel. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, bagel, how much I love you. Please don't take my little schmoopy away. I'm the only mom she's ever known. She loves me. They follow me around everywhere. I do have a little admirer, don't I? <laughs> Nothing can stop her. Not even a little baby gate we put up. Don't do it, Bagel. Don't do it. <laughs> I've already started crying thinking about Adoption Day. They're all going to homes that have other cats. But Spud is going to California. Pancake, it looks like she's probably going to Southern California as well. Bagel, she'll always have a piece of my heart, even when she's adopted. It's hard for me, but it frees up my home for others that need me. And if I didn't say goodbye to the ones in the past, then I would have never had these babies. I'm going to be speaking at Cat Camp in New York, and Bagel's new family live in Pennsylvania, so they're going to meet me in New York and adopt her there. It's really hard, but my heart may break just a little bit so that theirs will never have to break again. But thankfully, they have wonderful homes that they're going to. They get to now just enjoy life. <laughs>